Of course, there have been a very big situated storyline, and to let you understand that Tinimbu cannot escape this qualification because there was a time even the CGN disqualified many people that had the same case. But first of all, let's look at what these popular sayings goes that birds of the same feather flocks together. And show me your friend, I will tell you whom you are. It's a very deep explanation and I'm going to tell you why Bola Metinibu cannot escape this qualification. Now, Wike should rather be appointed as the INEC chairman by Tinimbu. It is now clear and evident that Tinimbu is neither a democrat nor a strategist. We have seen his ministerial list and those more like he's compensating them, not like he's choosing them to do any job, but he's compensating them for helping him rig the election. This is what Tinimbu is. He calls his fellow thieves to join him in stealing the remaining loaves that is left for Nigerians to devour. And from the ministerial list, you will see that everybody that was selected, from Wike to Erofi and the rest of them, were all as a result of compensation. That is why even Wike fought against Peter Obi, knowing fully well that Peter Obi is not a man who will come in to compensate anybody. He comes in with compatibility. If you are not good at the job, he won't appoint you for the job. Now, number one is that it is now clear that and evident that Tinimbu is neither a democrat nor a strategist. Mwike and other ministers that appeared in the ministerial list of Paul Amet Tinimbu that work for the so-called Tinimbu have been compensated with ministerial positions. The question remains, what did Mwike bring to the table? Emergence. The question remains, what did Mwike bring to Tinimbu's emergence? So why will Bola Ahmed Tinimbu stoop so low to appoint somebody like Wike who we don't even understand what he's doing the least in the first place? The electoral malfeasance in River State is notable and could soon make the Guinness Book of Record. Governor Baduru even wondered how he did it. The BBC analyzed the result with shocking outcome. Even Governor Banduru was very shocked how Wiki managed to do the rigging in River State because it was closer to impossible or very impossible, if I may say, to rig River State, not just for APC, for even PDP as well. We know that most people in the river state, out of 95%, all vented and wanted Labour Party. But even Governor Banduru was very, very surprised. Compensating Wiki with such appointment is a direct scorn on Nigeria and wholesome approval to impunity against the very fabric that holds the country together, democracy. The appointment of Wiki is not in any way Accretive to Tinimbu, rather it comes with loads of baggages. This appointment of Wiki is just an insult on the sensibilities of Nigeria. If the logic is followed properly, Wiki should rather become the new INEC chairman. He will do that job excellently and certainly. Well, I'm not sure because this is coming from Teddy, the GK. But let's look at it from another angle and from the fair end. Why? Tinimbu must be disqualified. If we check others who have been disqualified by the CGN who have the same case, it's going to bring to your notice that Tinimbu is not above those who are going to be disqualified. Now, let's look at the 13th February 2023 of the Supreme Court that nullifies Bayasa governor elect election and declared PDP winner. The Supreme Court on Thursday nullified the election of Bayasa State Governor-elect David Leon and his running mate, Barbara 
Kuma, Dagi, Eremioyo, who were already preparing to be inaugurated on Friday. A five-man panel of the APEX squad led by Justice Mary Peter Odeli ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission to withdraw the certificate of return issued to the All Progressive Congress candidate who had been declared winners of the November 16, 2019 governorship election in the state. The APEX court ordered INEC to issue fresh certificate to the candidate of the party with the next highest vote and with the required constitutional spread of votes in the result of the election, which are the People's Democratic Party's candidate. Now, let's pick point this very fact. The APEX court ordered INEC to issue fresh certificates to the candidate of the party with the next highest vote, next highest vote, and with the required constitutional spread of votes in the result of the election, which are the People's Democratic Party. Justice Ejembi Eko, who read the lead judgment of the APEX court, made the orders after disqualifying the APC deputy governorship candidate, Degi Eremioyo, as a candidate in the election. The court upheld the November 12, 2019 judgment of the Federal High Court in Abuja, which had disqualified Degi, Degi Eremioyo in the election of or submitting false certificate to INEC. False certificate to INEC. Tinimbu does not have a certificate. He doesn't have any certificate. He forged his certificate and he lied under oath. In fact, this man was disqualified because of just one case, a forged certificate, and he wants to become the governor of a state. Now, in the case of Bola Ahmed Tinimbu, we have 460,000 for Fetcher. We have dual citizenship. We have a drug trafficking case. We have some other related cases surrounding his name. You see, in the case of Degi Eremiayo, his only just first certificate, and that was in 2019, he was disqualified. So when we take a look at all these things, you will see that again and again, Things will fix itself. It doesn't matter how they try to cover the truth. It doesn't matter how long they try to put the truth under the carpet. But one thing is very, very important. That the time to make things work has just come. The time to make things begin have just started. And that is where we are standing. Tinibu will be disqualified and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Because cases like this, you can't be selecting ministerial list and you are compensating people instead of people that will move the country from where it is. So people should come and keep stealing where they stopped. Hmm. I hope Africa will rise soon. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.